Hi guys, I think we're ready for questions now. An occasion of pure, raw derby passion. This is the North London derby. Tottenham and Arsenal, they don't like each other very much, but that's all part of the charm of this fixture. It's live next on EA TV. You never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. And Spurs come away with it. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Teo Hernandez starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Will he find the net? And still an opportunity. Alexander Arnold. Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring. But it's a poor effort. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in their last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. Might be a chance here. A mischievous effort. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. And a goal has gone in at Stamford Bridge. So with all the information, here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. They've scored the opener here with 20 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. De Ligt. Arsenal had too much for their opponents in the win against Everton. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, the scoreline makes it look tighter than it actually was because for most of the match, the home fans were really happy. I think they have to be favourites for the three points again today. They have far too much quality in their squad. Playing it in. Was it a great clearance? Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick.
couldn't get it past that human barrier now the counter-attack looks on Jack Grealish well using the space really well but now can they push on nicely timed tackle well, as we can see, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. Opportunity! What a commitment to defending. And a corner for Tottenham could be useful as they try to take the lead. Not the best clearance. And in the end, no damage done. And news coming through from the Amex Stadium. Someone has scored there, but who? Here's Alex. It's a second goal for Manchester City. They're pulled ahead by two with 31 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. De Ligt. Ronald Araujo. Might be onto something with that ball. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Just the challenge that was required. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? All hands on deck. Pulls it back. Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with such pace and intent. Fantastic move. Just couldn't quite cap it off. Arsenal have given it away. And he has options available. No way through! Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And the problem not completely solved. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Half time then here in the English capital. Well, so far at any rate, not the most dynamic performance we've ever seen from Vinicius Junior. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. A very timely interception. Grealish. It needs an accurate cross. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Has eyes for goal. Oh, it's off the post. And a goal! Tottenham strike first in the derby. They're pumping up the volume, and why not? And that puts them in position. Vinicius Jr. Tries to lift it. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. On to Juan Bissaka. Really good high press. That's a good pass. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be.
Well, as the replay shows us, Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect. And then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Grealish. Grealish. Sound piece of defending. Stones. Promising move from Tottenham. He takes aim. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, there's been a goal at the Amex Stadium, so let's quickly send it over to Alex. It's a third goal for Manchester City. They're ahead by three now with 66 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Ronald Araujo. Well, there is nothing quite like the FA Cup final, and you'll be able to see it live right here on EA TV. It's Tottenham Hotspur facing Arsenal. Well, that's always a great occasion. The atmosphere will be electric, and the two teams will be desperate to lift that cup. Can they make the connection here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Teo Hernandez teammates available oh this is looking promising big chance and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save Spurs to make a personnel switch now Who can he pick out? Well, just couldn't quite control the header and a disappointing effort in the end. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And goal news to bring you from the Brentford game. Here's Alex with an update. Yeah, it's a third goal for Liverpool. They're now three ahead with 79 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Grealish Timely intervention A foul but no whistle Instead advantage with Arsenal That'll be a Spurs ball Well the referee letting them continue But now it's going to be a booking Well he tried to play the advantage But he was always going to come back to that challenge and a change for Spurs at this juncture. Oh, no let up, plenty of pressure. A glorious chance and nicely parried away. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Corner kick played in. It might still be problematic. Rafael Leao. Araujo. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Gertrauda. Ronald Araujo. 
And there goes the final whistle at the end of a hotly contested battle. What did you make of it from the Arsenal angle? Well, Derek, a draw is a fair result in the end because they never really looked in full control of the game, which is disappointing when you consider the quality of their squad. Well, Erling Haaland performing in line with our general expectations, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, he was their best player today, and it was no surprise that he got the equaliser. It was a really good finish. Some questions regarding the match. That'll be all, thank you.